Welcome to this edition of NetSuite Tips and Tricks presented by Go Virtual Office. Go Virtual Office is a top NetSuite provider with over 14 years of experience, where our vision is to always exceed customer satisfaction, be a market leader in cloud-based software, and be a great place to work. In this video, I'll show a couple of tips that can potentially save you some valuable time when setting date and currency fields on a NetSuite form. I am going to begin with date fields. And to demonstrate, I have a new journal entry created. And you can see when I created that journal entry, the date field defaulted with today's date. Uh, maybe in some cases, you don't want it to be dated today. You might want it to be dated yesterday. And to make adjustments to the date, you can actually just use your plus and minus keys on the keyboard. So if I want that to be yesterday, all I have to do is hit minus on my keypad. And you can see I decremented the date by one day. If I want it to go back to today, I can just use my plus key. Or maybe you want to move it out three days, hit your plus key three times and make those adjustments up and down pretty simply with your plus and minus keys. Now, if you do want, a date to be populated with today's date, you can do that by just hitting your T on the keyboard and you can see it changed to today. Another one you can use is tomorrow, which actually would be a shift and a T. And you can see that that set that to tomorrow's date. Uh, some other ones that are can be pretty helpful as well. Um, perhaps you are wanting to create a journal entry and you want that dated at the end of the month. You can actually use the M key to do that. And you can see that just pushed it out to the end of July. So didn't have to interact with that field other than just having the field active and using my keyboard to set that. Another one you can do is you can actually use L to set the date to the end of the previous period. So I'm gonna go ahead and reselect that date field and L and you can see I just set my date to the last day of that previous period. So there are some options that are documented in help that make it a little bit easier to work with date fields so you don't have to pull up your calendar and try and figure out uh, how many days are in June or how many days are in July. Um, you can just use those shortcuts um, to populate the dates for you. Another example, perhaps, maybe you want to have a journal dated at the beginning of the month and then you wanna set the reversal date to the last day of the month. Well, you can get a little bit creative and you can actually set that date to the last day of last month via L, which I've already done. Hit your plus key. Now you've got that set to the first day of the month. And then I can go over to my reversal date and to get the last day of the month, all I need to do is hit M. And you can see there, it automatically populated that with the last day of the month. So lots of options when it comes to working with date fields. When working with currency fields in NetSuite, it allows you to actually perform basic calculations right within the field, no calculator required. So I'm gonna demonstrate that with a journal entry. And in this scenario, we're gonna just, we're gonna reallocate an expense that was associated with out a department being specified. And we wanna split that into three different departments. So this may be a, an end of the month adjustment that you're performing. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set my expense account that I want to reallocate. And I got some IT expenses. And let's see, we're gonna just make this a kind of a nasty number here, something that you might not wanna divide by three in your head. Go ahead and add that. And again, I wanted to spread this out between uh, three different departments. So now I'm gonna start specifying my departments here, administration. And you can see as soon as I go into debit, it's gonna try and balance this journal entry for me right away, which is great. But in this case, I know I need to spread this into three lines. So what I can actually do is just add an operator here, divide by three. And as soon as I tab out of that field, it actually did the math for me right there. So now I can go ahead and just copy this value, add another line for my additional departments. operations. I'm going to go ahead and paste that value in again and we'll just add my last line here. 
product. Sounds good. And again, once I get into the debit, NetSuite's gonna balance that for me. You can see I've got a little bit of a rounding issue there, but I was able to do that calculation without having to go away from NetSuite, without having to grab my calculator. I'm actually just able to, because these are currency fields, add my operators right in that field. Um, so I could, I use division, but you can see I can do multiplication, I can do addition, subtraction, anything I need to do there. Um, I can do that calculation right within the field, which is pretty slick.